um, using air cleaners for a while and I've actually thought about some potential problems with using an air cleaner. Uh, most of them I don't think are a big deal, but just, you know, things I've thought of and uh, where I don't think you should use uh, HEPA air cleaners. Because uh, the last thing you want to do is make your air worse by using an air cleaner. Uh, just some ideas I have to ponder. Case in point, the old ionic breezes, which I used to have and threw out, produced ozone. So that's what you, uh, you don't want any surprises. Here's some questions I have for everyone else too. Uh, the first is a new smell. You buy a new air cleaner and sometimes it's got a new smell to it. And this is a IQ Air Clean New MH13. It's got an antimicrobial coating. Had a terrible smell for the first week. I had to actually open the windows to air out my place. It was so bad. Manufacturer says it's nothing to worry about. So hopefully we can trust them that it's not going to be off gassing forever. Well, I can't smell it anymore. So uh, hopefully it's not a problem. The uh, IQ Air Health Pro uh, kind of did the same thing, but not as bad. So off gassing of of new air cleaners, wondered about that. Hopefully they know what they're doing. Also there's off-gassing of the, the uh, filter material itself. Uh, I know new filters can have a papery type smell which, is, uh, which isn't bad. It's very minor and it doesn't go away. Potential off-gassing of um, the uh, gaskets used. This is kind of a soft rubbery type material which if I smell it kind of has a rubbery plasticky smell to it. Um, the ones that have a hard surface, like the hard uh, hard one, don't seem to do that. But these ones with a softer rubber coating seem to. Actually, I had one I had to throw out. It was so bad. It just would not go away after like a week in it smelling hardcore. So I threw it in the garbage. So that's a concern of mine, the potential off-gassing. Um, I would say, like, you let your nose be a guide. If it's bothering you after a, a week and you can still smell the rubbery smell, then I, I wouldn't use that filter then. Uh, whether it's toxic or not, I don't know. Like those kinds of questions I can't answer. Um, another concern I have is, is uh, something used to get rid of odors. These are carbon filters. This is a CPZ filter for a Honeywell air cleaner. It actually, it's a cartridge that goes right inside here. And here is a, a can carbon filter. These are meant to get rid of, rid of heavy duty odors. These are available in lots of different sizes. But get right to the point, my concern with these if you pull air through these, is there going to be carbon dust released into your air, like fine carbon? And the answer to that is, uh, I think so. Um, especially with these. Th these cartridges go right in the center and air is actually pulled through it. I think it would have been better to design it where the carbon filter is on the outside and it would capture any potential carbon dust. Unknown if that's unhealthy. Uh, I wouldn't bet that it's safe. I wouldn't want to breathe anything. That's the idea of an air cleaner. So, um, just an idea for, for me to think of. Um, same thing with these carbon can filters. I know they emit carbon dust because the filter, the fan that I've used on this one has carbon dust on it as well as some of the ducting has a uh, black soot forming. So I think to be safe, I, I would, if you're going to run a can filter like this or a carbon filter, try to run, run it inside another HEPA filter, like run a larger filter like this and then have a HEPA filter in the center or simply run run uh, your carbon filter into the air input of another air cleaner with ducting or just have it there so it's being sucked through a HEPA filter afterwards. So potential carbon dust is a concern. Uh, another concern I have is with contaminants building up in the filter and then actually off-gassing themselves. Uh, so if you have a filter that's getting to be really old and it's got a build up of every kind of particulate matter, uh, can that particulate matter uh, combine with each other to make other chemicals or just off gas things on their own? That's another uh, potential concern I see with HEPA filters. Um, um, so I guess the only way around that is if it starts to have a bad smell to it, throw it out. Another concern I have um, um, it's like for mold. If you were to use this in a damp, moist environment, I'm sure mold would start growing on the HEPA media. So that could be a danger. Don't use it in a, in a damp, mold uh, environment because uh, the mold itself could start off-gassing. And another thing I thought about is the fans themselves, either in my homemade one 
or the uh, the body air cleaners, and that is uh, particulate matter can, as the fan wears out, can it produce particulate matter of its own? I'm not too sure. These are all brushless fans, very high quality. Uh, same with in the air cleaners. Uh, can these motors themselves produce particulate matter of their own? Not too sure about that. I think the potential is there for it. I know brushed type motors are the worst for it. And that can happen not just in air cleaners, but in just regular household fans, uh, all your duct fans, your 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 uh, your furnace fans. So, uh, yeah. So, can any motor produce particulate matter of its own? Yeah, I think potential is there. IQ Air has solved that because they got their motor right in the center. They suck air through the bottom, pull it out through the top, and that would get rid of any particulate particulate matter from that. And one thing about these carbon filters that I got to mention too is once they are saturated in an odor or a particular gas, they can actually start to re-release that back into your, your environment. Uh, so that's one potential uh, problem. A way around that is to change it when you're supposed to or if, it's, if it starts to get an odor of its own. Uh, so that's just some of the, um, the concerns I had uh, with HEPA filtration. I guess another one that's not really too much of a concern, but it could be, if you use a HEPA filter beyond its life and it becomes 100% clogged, um, it could strain the motor of the air cleaner and potentially cause uh, a fire. Um, I know these commercial fans have over overheat protection and it would actually shut itself off before that happened. So uh, that's one potential concern. Another potential concern I have is one that will affect everyone with an air cleaner. And that is uh, when you change the the, uh, the filters in these things. You should always take it outside because I've made it a video showing it. Uh, if you pull these out and you change it indoors, you are going to uh, inevitably re-release some of the concentrated, concentrated dust back into your air. So I always take it outside and handle all HEPA filters, use HEPA filters with extreme care. So even this air cleaner, I don't want to be rough with it. Uh, I want to handle it and very very carefully because if you drop it knock it over uh, you could potentially you know recontaminate your air and I think using the filter not beyond its rated life is a good idea too um, what I was saying before about using it in a toxic environment meaning if you've used it in a in a like after a fire for example to help clean up fire smoke once like there's been a fire like uh, get rid of it after that like my brother had a plastic fire in his house plastic two liter coke bottle got burnt on the stove and uh made a lot of toxic black smoke so ideally we should have used the hepa filter to uh clean it up and then as soon as that is cleaned up um like after a day or two throw that filter in the garbage no matter how old it is because you don't want toxic particulate matter uh accumulating and concentrating in your hepa filter and then starting to uh, off-gas that into your air. So um, this is just a few concerns I've had with using air cleaners. I've used them with great success, uh, no problems, and making my air better. And uh, just a few concerns. Anyone has any comments, what they think about the uh, off-gassing, uh, the off-gassing of components in the filter um, or particulate matter is a good one. Does anyone think that particulate matter is getting generated by, by these fans or in an air cleaner or all fans for that matter? Um, it's hard to tell with my test with my particle counter because if it's producing ultra-fine particle counters, my uh, counter cannot read that. Like I said, the IQ errors have solved that by putting the fan right in the center and it's sealed so any, everything it captures goes through that. Okie dokie, so anyone has any uh, additional comments, uh, feel free to comment or answer any of my questions.